The story comes to us from WMBFnews.com. Out of Bennettsville, South Kekalecki, talking about a cop in South Carolina. Oh, there's nothing that'd be finer than to see a cop in Carolina fired in the morning. Uh, a Bennettsville police officer is off the force after the department said there was an incident with a suspect while in custody. Yeah, it was quite an incident, as you're going to find out. Warrants from the state law enforcement division show that on July 6th, 23-year-old Jalen Hilton unlawfully grabbed a restrained victim around the neck and threw him against the wall. The documents went on to say this caused the suspect to hit the back of his head against the wall, which could kill him. The Bennettsville Police Department stated the police chief Kevin Miller immediately put Officer Jalen Hilton on administrative leave without pay after the incident. Now, you know if they put him on leave without pay, they, they ain't screwing around. Because normally they get vacation, paid vacation. Miller also contacted the South Carolina Law Enforcement Division to review the incident while the Bennettsville Police Department conducted its own investigation for violations of department policy by Hilton. I guess his name didn't save him, did it? Hilton. <laughs> On Monday, Hilton turned himself in to sled agents, and he was terminated from the Bennettsville Police Department. Um, the police department stated in a press release, quote, Chief Miller wants the citizens of Bennettsville to know he believes in transparency and holding each and every officer accountable for their actions. We must not only police the public, but police ourselves. Hilton is charged with second-degree assault and battery and misconduct in office. He was booked into the Marlboro County Detention Center, Marlboro, South Carolina. Uh, Marlboro, I just love it. I'm sorry. Marlboro County Detention Center. Documents from the South Carolina Criminal Justice Academy show that Hilton had been with the Bennettsville Police Department since December of 2020. Now, uh, before I even get to that, I'm going to do a preface real quick because I, every time I do a story about down south, I got to talk like I'm from damn south cake and lucky. You know, and people get so mad at me and they say, see, you're being prejudiced, you're biased, you're, you're profiling these people. Look, man, my great-great-grandmother, uh, they lived in North Carolina way back at the turn of the century of last century, 1900s. And they were uh, moonshiners, and there are stories of my great-great-grandmother up in the attic firing her shotgun at revenuers, tax revenuers, as they'd come up to the door. they all run back down and get in their trucks and drive off. Um, my paternal grandfather is from North Carolina. My maternal grandfather is from Arkansas, and my maternal grandmother is from Kentucky, Bowling Green, Kentucky, actually. So I got, man, I got so much uh, heritage down south. I'm allowed to talk like that, all right? So if y'all got a problem with it, you come talk to me. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Anyway, so that's a little preface there. So when you see me making fun of people down south, half of the people I make fun of are uh, my grandmother's aunt, who she was a 92 year old woman with a big thing of chaw in her mouth, and she'd be like, in a cup. Um, <laughs> you know, she had no teeth, but she had a big old thing of chaw. You know, I make fun of my own my own family that way. So that's that. Um, but here's this cop. You know, he, the police chief. I wanted to talk about him real quick. Kevin Miller saying we believe in transparency and holding each every he each and every officer accountable. We police ourselves, and he proved it by getting this guy charged. He called in investigators and said, I think my cop just broke the law, you know. So kudos to this police chief. You can't fault this police chief. That's why I didn't laugh when he said, you know, our police chief believes in transparency. The reason I didn't laugh was because we're seeing it here, that he actually took a step forward to get this cop charged and he's possibly looking at uh, some time. So for, you know, second degree assault and battery, misconduct in office, he's looking at some time. I don't know, maybe he'll get just probation. But uh, there you go. A police chief who backs what he believes in and a police officer that's going to back into Bubba.